Well, those of y'all who don't hate me yet, you're probably going to now. Because I am not calling the Ghostbusters. Hey everybody, welcome to another movie review. And today, I will be reviewing, most likely my most controversial review yet, I will be reviewing Ghostbusters. Yes. So... This uh, movie came out in 1984 and uh, was written by Dan Aykroyd and Harold Ramis. Um, and it was directed by Ivan Reitman. And um, I should say the late, great Ivan Reitman. Um, and it stars, of course, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, um, Harold Ramis, um, Sigourney Weaver, Rick Moranis... Annie Potts and Ernie Hudson. So, all right, Ghostbusters. Yes, as I said in the intro, y'all are probably gonna hate me for this review. Yeah. So, all right. So this is a movie I've been wanting to review for quite a while, um, and. Originally, I was going to review the uh, the Fugitive, but after even finishing the movie, I just I didn't really feel like reviewing it. There just wasn't too much to say about that movie, at least in my opinion. If you want my opinion on the Fugitive, I'll just go and say it's a decent movie, but there just wasn't a whole lot to say about it. Like I don't know, it just felt like it was just kind of hard to say. I mean. Harrison Ford and um, Tom Lee Jones were good in the movie, uh, but and the, the score was very good. But that's about it. It's a good movie, but just didn't have a whole lot to say about. It. However, this movie I do have a little more to say about, it. and I decided, all right, well, since I won't be reviewing The Fugitive, I'm gonna try a different movie. And I decided to try Ghostbusters. Yes. So, Ghostbusters is a movie that I have seen before. And um, I watched this movie when I was a kid. And I have to be honest, back then, I did not like this movie at all. Like, not, well, I didn't, I don't know if I hated it, but... At least not right away, but I I didn't see what the hype was about. Like I really didn't. Um, and and I think as time went on, I just started to really not give a shit about it at all because everybody was pr everybody's praising this movie. Even to this day, people say that it's a classic. They say it's one of the greatest comedy movies ever made. One of the best '80s movies of all time. Some might even say it's one of the greatest movies just ever. And so that kind of just made me mad, honestly. But then I was like, you know what? Maybe I should watch it again someday and review it. And I just got done watching it. And not much has changed. I don't, I don't like Ghostbusters. I'm sorry, I don't. I can already hear a bunch of y'all gasping at that. But I I don't like this movie. I don't like this movie. I don't think it's that funny, honestly. There were a few chuckles that it got for me. I mean, you know, it, it got me to chuckle a, a few times. But yeah. And not even not even the cast, what I will say is a very good cast. Not even the cast saved this movie for me, really. Not really. Now, do I hate this movie? No. I don't hate it, but I don't like it either. It's just... Yeah. I'm not a fan. I'm sorry. Um, I honestly think this is probably the most overrated comedy ever made, if I'm going to be honest. And 
possibly one of the most overrated movies ever made, but definitely the most overrated comedy I've ever seen, at least. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It just doesn't do anything for me. So, right about now is the time. This is where I talk about the plot, but you know what? What's the point? I mean, I think everybody has pretty much seen this movie, or at least they know what it's about. I mean, it's all in the title, Ghostbusters. You know, these guys who hunt ghosts. That's that's what it is. I know and there's a little bit more to the plot, I know. And there's, But there's also, like, something in the movie that will spoil the film, so I won't say it, but, you know, the, something that happens in the third act. But... I'm not going to say what this movie's about. I think every most people already have seen this movie already. So what's the point, you know? What's the point? So, yeah. Um, so, all right. Positives and negatives. Okay, so the only positive I can give this movie are the performances. The performances are good. Like... Yeah, every all those cast, all the cast members I just mentioned, they're all good. Um, yeah, and I like all the actors. I think, like I said, I think the casting was great. Um, I, and yeah, all the actors are very good at, in the film. Um, let's see, uh, who should I talk about first? Um, I'll go say, go ahead and say who I like the most in this film. I gotta say, my favorite in this movie was actually Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis was actually one of the few things in this film that actually kind of made me laugh. Rick Moranis' character is pretty funny, actually. Um, unfortunately, he's not in the movie a lot, but he is when he's on screen, he's pretty funny. And even... I mean, this will be kind of spoilers. This will be spoilers, but again, who hasn't seen this movie? Um, if you haven't seen this movie, just turn off now. But even whenever he gets possessed by that dog creature thing, he was still kind of funny, and his performance was really good. Like, I thought he did a fantastic job in this film. Brick Moranis, for sure. Close second, I would have to say Sigourney Weaver. So Gourney Weaver was also very good in the film, and and whenever she got possessed too, she was great. Um, them two have really good chemistry together, and honestly, I would have if it was if there was a movie just about those two characters about because Rick Moranis's character has a crush on Gourney Weaver and their neighbors, and she kind of finds him a little a. I think maybe a little creepy, maybe, something like that. But if, if, if there was a movie that was just about them two, I would watch it. And I would like it ten times better than the, than this movie here. <laughs> just being honest. So, so yeah. Um, but, yeah, so Gourney Weaver is very good in this film. This might be one of her first comedies she's ever done because she was known for alien, the Alien movies, of course. But, yeah, uh, she's very good. She also has good chemistry with Bill Murray, who I'll talk about in a little bit. But, but yeah, um, let's see. Um, Annie Potts, she was pretty good. Um, she, she was, I thought she was really cute in the movie. I, I actually liked her character. She was, she gave me a few chuckles. She, she was, uh, she was the, uh, receptionist, the Ghostbusters receptionist. Yeah, she was all right. She was pretty good. Um, uh, Harold Ramis was pretty good. Uh, I should say, I should say the late great Harold Ramis. Um, as Egon, he might be my favorite Ghostbuster, if I'm going to be honest. Out of the four Ghostbusters, I think he was my favorite Egon. And he gave me, he made me chuckle a few times. He was kind of funny a little. Um, Ernie Hudson made me chuckle a few times as well, and his character wasn't too bad. He was all right. Yeah. Um. Now Dan Aykroyd, while yes, he was good in the movie. I don't know. I just didn't really. His character just didn't really 
do much in this film, honestly. Like, I don't know. I don't really understand his character. Like, he did, he just didn't really do much in this movie. I don't know. But, you know, his performance was fine. So, like I said, there's not a bad performance in this movie. And, of course, we got Bill Murray. Bill Murray... Okay, now, I will say, this was the movie that made me not like Bill Murray that much. As I was growing up, whenever I was a teenager and stuff. Which, <laughs> ironically... The last uh, movie-related video I did was actually a, a top 10 Bill Murray list. Uh, go check it out if you haven't already. Uh, Ghostbusters is not on there, though. I'll go ahead and say that. Um, but um, he was the reason... I mean, this is the movie... This was the reason why I wasn't a big Bill Murray fan. I didn't like this movie, and this just made me not really like Bill Murray that much. And I didn't like his character either. And, yeah, I still had to say... He, 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 I'm still not a big fan of his character in this movie, uh, and um, and also he's not really that funny in this movie. Surprisingly, Bill Murray is not really that funny. Now his performance is very good. His performance is very good as a uh, uh, what's his name, Peter Vank Vankman, um, Doctor Peter Vankman. Yeah, performance was very good. He just wasn't funny to me. And he's been funny in a bunch of other movies. I mean, Groundhog Day, he's hilarious in. His cameo in Space Jam is hilarious to me. And even, of course, the Wes Anderson films that he's in. He's a funny dude. I, I do like Bill Murray a lot. I think he's very funny and a good actor. And acting-wise, yes, he's very good in this film. But I didn't think he was that funny. But I will say that I did, I actually, like, I remember his character being kind of annoying before. Uh, he didn't really annoy me. I just wasn't a big fan of his character. But he didn't really annoy me. But, yeah, he just wasn't funny. But performance-wise, he was performance -wise, he was good. So, yeah. um, So, yeah, I mean, all the performances are good. I will say, all of them are good. It's just... It's just this movie. I, I don't know. It just it just barely saved it from. I mean, I'm not gonna give this a really low rating, but I, it is gonna be pretty low. Actually, quite a bit low, honestly. But the reason why this won't get a really like it won't be like down to like one or two or even three is because the performances were good. So yeah, that's about it. That's the only thing I can say about this movie. And a few laughs and chuckles. But yeah, for the most part, this movie isn't that funny to me. I don't get why everyone says it's one of the funniest movies ever. It's not that funny. For the most part, it's not. Um, I have Now, I have seen more unfunny movies. This movie is funnier than some other movies I've seen. But... So this isn't the most unfunny movie I've ever seen. No, no. But it's not really that funny to me. So yeah. Um, and let's see. Cinematography, eh, not great, honestly. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's the 80s, so. But, of course, there were better looking movies in the 80s, so yeah. Um. The editing kind of sucks, honestly. I did not like the editing very much, and um, the pacing was really weird. Um, like, it started out kind of going really slow, and then toward the third act, it was rushing. It was it went by way too fast in the third act. Um, let's see what else. I feel like there was another thing. Um, I, I would okay. The thing I hate the most about this movie, I'll save that for last. But, um, let's see. Also, um, hmm. All right, you know what? <laughs> I think I've done this once before, but my mind is kind of blank right now. So I'm going to pause it. Um, I'm going to pause the video uh, and then 
I'll come back and say what I was going to say. So, all right. Give me, give me a moment. All right, I'm back. So, okay. Um, the visual effects are, eh, at times, okay. Like, I will say, like, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man looks all right. He doesn't look too bad. Um, some of the demon dog things, whenever they're up close, they look fine and kind of creepy. But, but um, whenever, <laughs> whenever it shows them, like, for farther away, they look like shit. And I think it's it was, like, more, like, stop motion, you know, then. But it looked pretty bad. The stop motion in this movie was pretty rough, I have to say. Um, but also Terminator as well. The stop motion of that movie. I love that movie. I love Terminator, by the way. Which came out the same year. Um, but, um, that was, like, the only thing I have against, kind of have against Terminator is the stop motion thing. But, yeah. But this one, it was really bad. Um, also the, the also that ghost Slimer. He's okay looking, I guess. He looks fine. I, I imagine when this movie came out, the the visual effects were probably very groundbreaking. But some of it kind of holds up, but not all of it. A lot of it doesn't, really. I think a lot of people say that it does hold up. I was watching this, I'm like, no, not really. <laughs> it's pretty crappy looking, not gonna lie. Um, I think even when I was a kid, I thought they were kind of shitty looking. I'm not gonna lie. I think I did. Um, again, some of it's alright, but so yeah, half half of it is okay, but the other half, eh, not really. Um, alright, the third act is weird as fuck, honestly. Like, it kind of just, I don't know. It kind of comes out of nowhere, sort of. I mean, there is, like, some hints about it, like, a little bit in the beginning of the film, but I don't know. It's just kind of weird. It it feels out of place. Uh, the stuff that happens in the movie, um, and, you know, it's like, like I said, some of the stuff with uh, uh, Scorny Weaver, Rick Moranis' characters. You know, they get possessed. It has something to do with that. I'm not. I won't say too much about it, but just in case you haven't seen this movie, <laughs> then again, I spoiled some. So, but um, yeah, that was weird honestly i thought the the third act was very strange and just kind of came out of nowhere and it was rushed to like the climax was kind of shitty not gonna lie um but yeah but I, i'll tell you the thing i hate the most about this movie are you ready to hate me some more the theme song I hate the Ghostbusters theme song. I hate it. Um, this song is so annoying. Like, it's hard to avoid. I hear it, like, almost everywhere, especially there in Halloween. It gets really annoying. And it's, ugh, I hate it. Um, no, fuck off. I'm not calling the Ghostbusters. <laughs> but, yeah, like, every time... Like, whenever, for example, if I'm, like, watching a uh, a reaction to a movie on YouTube, uh, whenever someone says, who are you going to call, and it's not even a Ghostbusters reference, the person watching this will say Ghostbusters. I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Every time someone says, who are you going to call, you're going to get some smart ass saying, saying Ghostbusters. It's so stupid. Yeah. This song is... I, I can't stand this song. And it's even stuck in my head right now. <laughs> like, it gets stuck in my head. And whenever I hate a... Whenever a song I hate gets stuck in my head, I I hate it even more. <laughs> so... But, yeah, I hate the, the song. That's the thing I hate the most about this movie. I won't go as far as saying that I hate this movie, but I do hate the song. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's basically, I guess, the stuff I really, the stuff I didn't like about the movie and the stuff I liked. Again, performances were all good, but everything else, ugh, not really. <laughs> Story, nah. Um, visual effects, while some of it's okay, some of it's very 
very dated. Um, and the cinematography and editing sucks. Uh, well, cinematography's okay, but the editing is really, it's pretty bad. Um, but, yeah, this, and it's not fun. For the most part, at least. It's not fun. Like, honestly, <laughs> you ready for this? Year One which, by the way, is a Harold Ramis movie. His last, I believe, yeah. I think that movie, Year One, with Jack Black and Michael Sarah, that movie's funnier than this movie. I said it. <laughs> which I think is an underrated comedy. This is, on the other hand, is an overrated comedy. Yeah, it's not all that funny to me. So, yeah. So... Before I give it its rating, I just want to say these. this is my personal opinion on the movie. If you like this movie, that's perfectly fine. I'm not here to say this movie sucks, it's terrible. I'm just sharing my opinions on the film. I don't think it's that great. I don't think it's that great. But I'm not going to say this movie sucks. So, I just don't think it's that great. Um, But I know a lot of people grew up, grew up with this movie. I again I did watch it as a kid but I never liked it so like my cousin was really into this movie and he wanted me to watch it I'm like okay I watched it didn't like it and now as an adult I still don't like this movie I think it's overrated I think it's the most overrated comedy ever made I think it's one of the most maybe the most overrated 80s movie ever made and definitely one of the most overrated movies ever made, just in general. I'm sorry, but I don't like this movie. <laughs> I know I said that a lot, but yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm not a Ghostbusters fan. I'm sorry. I'm not. Um So I'm gonna go ahead and get a give it its rating. I'm giving Ghostbusters a four out of ten. I won't go any lower because at least the performances are good. So that's what saves it from being lower than four is the performances. Performances were good. Other than that, not really. So yeah, four out of ten might be the lowest I've ever given the movie. I think it is. Uh, since I did the numbers, the number ratings, I, I believe it is. So I even gave Shark Boy and Lava Girl five out of ten. So. <laughs> oh man I'm gonna get so much hate <laughs> but yeah Ghostbusters 4 out of 10 not a fan I'm sorry alright so there we go there is my review for Ghostbusters 1984 so in the comments um, have you seen this movie have you not how much do you hate me if you do <laughs> also you know what um Go and say what is your favorite? Uh, what is your most? What in your opinion is the most overrated comedy ever made? That's it for me. It's Ghostbusters. Yeah, but yeah. Um. All right. So. Okay. Thursday. Thursday. Uh, will be a um. That will be my ranking for every uh for every song from David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust. So if you're interested, check that one out. As for Monday, I don't know yet. I I really don't know. You know, I kind of I'm because I'm just running out of ideas for lists. I might just go ahead and maybe do a movie review next week, just for the hell of it. And I kind of I don't know if I'll do movies I've seen before. At least not very much. I still want to review Carrie someday, but um because. And that's a movie that where people are going to get... I have even more things to say about that movie. People are going to hate me for that one. But... Uh, <laughs> so I will review that someday. But I think for the most part, I'm probably just going to do... Uh, just first time watch movies again. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't know um, what I'm going to do next monday maybe it'll be another maybe it'll be a movie review i don't really want to but i don't know we'll, we'll see though we'll see anyways um but i will see you next thursday so yeah look out for that so please like subscribe comment and hit the bell and i'll see you later all right peace